Welcome back, everyone. Have you ever noticed how your mood changes with the weather? A bright sunny day makes you feel energetic, while a gloomy rainy day might leave you feeling down. But why does this happen? The natural world has a profound effect on all creatures, and we humans are no exception. Just as animals respond to the changing seasons, so too do our minds and bodies react to the subtle cues of our environment. The warmth of the sun, the pitter-patter of rain, the chill of winter. Each of these plays a role in shaping our emotional landscape. Let's explore the fascinating connection between weather and our emotions, delving into the science behind these shifts in mood. The sun, that celestial orb that governs our days, holds a surprising power over our emotional well-being. As its golden rays bathe the earth, they trigger a remarkable transformation within us, stimulating the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter often dubbed the happy hormone. When sunlight graces our skin, it sets off a chain reaction, increasing serotonin levels and bringing with it a sense of joy and contentment. No wonder we feel more energetic and positive on sunny days. This vital connection between sunlight and serotonin explains why we crave the sun's embrace. It's not just the physical sensation of warmth, but an intrinsic need to replenish our serotonin stores. So the next time you find yourself drawn to a sun-drenched spot, remember it's a deep-seated biological urge to tap into the sun's power. While sunshine lifts our spirits, rainy and cloudy days often cast a different spell. As the heavens open and the world is shrouded in gray, we may find our energy waning and a sense of melancholy creeping in. This shift in mood is not merely a figment of our imagination, but a physiological response to the diminished sunlight. With less sunlight reaching our eyes, the production of serotonin, our trusty mood booster, takes a dip. Melatonin, the sleep-regulating hormone, on the other hand, increases, contributing to feelings of lethargy and low motivation. For some, this shift in the balance of neurochemicals can lead to a condition known as seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. This aptly named disorder brings with it a persistent low mood, a lack of energy, and a general disinterest in activities that once brought joy. However, even without SAD, many of us experience a milder form of the rainy day blues. We may find ourselves craving comfort foods and feeling less inclined to engage in social activities. Chapter 3. Winter's Embrace, a time for reflection and renewal. As the days grow shorter and snow covers the land, we enter a period of dormancy and introspection. The world around us slows down and so too do our bodies and minds. The cold air invigorates, bringing tranquility and quiet contemplation. For some, winter brings a sense of magic and wonder. The crunch of snow underfoot and twinkling lights evoke a childlike sense of awe. It's a time for cozy gatherings and heartwarming meals. However, shorter days can lead to a decline in mood and energy. The cold can make us retreat indoors, feeling isolated. This is a natural response, conserving energy for spring. Acknowledge these feelings and combat the winter blues. Engage in activities that bring joy, spend time with loved ones, and ensure adequate sunlight to maintain a positive outlook. Chapter 4. When Nature Rages the Anxiety of Storms Storms evoke a primal fear within us. Thunder, lightning, and howling winds trigger physiological responses. Our heart rates quicken, pupils dilate, and adrenaline surges. These responses can lead to anxiety and unease. The unpredictability of storms adds to their unsettling nature. We can track their paths but never fully anticipate their intensity. This lack of control amplifies our feelings of vulnerability. Remember, these feelings are normal our ancestors faced genuine threats from storms. Managing anxiety through shelter, information, and calming activities helps. Chapter 5. Whispers of the Wind, the Unseen Force that Shapes Our Mood. The wind, an invisible force, often goes unnoticed until it gathers strength. Gentle breezes can be refreshing, carrying the scent of flowers, but strong winds can stir up feelings of unease and restlessness. High winds can disrupt sleep patterns, making us feel irritable. The constant buffeting against our homes can contribute to anxiety. 
Certain winds, like the phone, are linked to mood changes and headaches. These winds affect the electrical balance in the air, influencing our mood. The wind's subtle effects on our mood are undeniable. We are intricately connected to the natural world, even its invisible forces. From the sun's mood-boosting rays to the storm's anxiety-inducing roar, weather doesn't just shape our environment, it shapes our emotions too. While we can't control the weather, we can control how we respond to it. Just as a seasoned sailor adjusts their sails to navigate the changing winds, we too can learn to adapt and thrive amidst the ever-shifting emotional landscape that each season brings. So next time the weather affects your mood, find small ways to adapt. Soak in the sun, embrace the rain, or get cozy when it's cold. After all, every weather has its charm. What's your favorite weather, and how does it affect your mood? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.